Hey everyone, it's me, Carrie, or Makeup Madhouse, and this is my look for New Year's 2018. It is inspired by the Mariana's Trench new song. It's called Rhythm of Your Heart, and here's a little bit of it. A lot of the inspiration I drew from the video, like the video game type of neon glowing parts of it. So I did the rhythm of your heart, so I did the little heart beating. I did the countdown for New Year's 3, 2, 1 going down. And this is one of the lyrics, a part of one of the lyrics here. Um, and then the product that I'm featuring in this is Wish Upon a Sparkle Glitters. These glitters are amazing. You guys should look into them. I will have them listed below. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see this year. If you want to see more time-lapse videos or tutorials like this one. We're starting with the Smashbox Radiance Primer to make sure our face is nice and glowy. It'll hold the NYX foundation on very well, too. I'm using the NYX HD Concealer. And then here's these tiny beauty blenders. I'm in love with them. You can win them if you enter my Winter Madhouse Makeup Contest. Check it out on Instagram. I don't normally do a cream contour, but I wanted to do something dramatic today, so I decided to test it out. I went along my nose, my cheekbones, my jawline, and of course, by my hairline. I really like the airbrush effect that this gives, so I'll probably do this a little more in the future. I did the highlights after blending out the contour, but I'd probably do them both first next time and then blend them at the same time. I applied my powder, and then now I went in with a brow wax, and then I'm coloring in my brows with a teal, a blue, and then black. I'm cleaning them up with the NYX HD concealer and a nice brush. Now I'm going to be going in with a bunch of purples and blues and pinks for the eyeshadow. I started with purple in the crease and then I'm moving upward with a magenta color and then more of a hot pink. I'm using the Moonchild palette as a highlight. And then in the center of my lid I did a silver and then I'm going on both corners with a blue. I'm just darkening that blue and blending it into the purple. Now I'm going under my eye with blue again. And then under that I'm adding some pinks and purples also. Now I'm using the NYX Glitter Glue and Glitters to apply silver and blue. going in my waterline with an eyeliner and using my favorite Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Now I'm going over that same contour, just making it even more dramatic. And this is with a NYX Powder Contour. I'll have all the products listed below also if you'd like to check them out. And now I'm going in with all of my highlights. I'm using a bunch of different shades in the Moon Child palette. And time for body painting. I'm starting out with a layer of black, and I had to go over this once because it was a little too thin with the amount of water that I used. I'm blending that upward into my neck so that it fades into my skin color instead of just cutting off my head from my body. And then I'm going in with the same highlights that I was using before on my collarbones and tops of my shoulders. Now everything here is going to be referenced from the music video. And this is just the center line. I started with pink body paints and then I'm going in with eyeshadows and some highlight to create like a neon effect. And then the white line was very difficult for me to get a straight line, but I got there. 
Now these little lines are supposed to make it look as if the video game is moving and that it's like zooming through the air. So I did the pink and then the white over that again. Next I'm drawing on the heart that's in the video game and it has its heartbeat. And then here's a little bit of a grid that is in it. And then I'm doing the same thing as before, going in with a detailed white. I'm lightening up the center of those lines. None of it has to be super precise because it'll have the same effect. And then the grid lines for um, the vertical direction are just dots. You want to make sure that they're giving the right perspective also. And then now it's a little bit challenging when you're writing out these letters, um, not only because they are in like bubble letter form, but because you have to draw them backwards in a mirror. And then now I'm doing the 3, 2, 1 of the New Year's countdown. I started with pink, and then that is purple, and the bottom one is the teal color. I'm going in again with that detailed brush in white to make those letters stand out a little bit more. And then here I am using the Wish Upon a Sparkle glitters. They're my new favorite glitter. I love them. I am using a new NYX, I think it's called Duo Chrome um, lip gloss, and I love it. So this will make the glitter stick on there. And these are not cosmetic glitters. You're not supposed to use them for your eyes. I'm sure you're probably not supposed to use them for your lips either, but I was very careful when using them. And then to apply all the glitter to my hair, I am using some hair gel. I'm brushing that through my hair, and then I am getting some on my forehead. I start out by just dropping the glitter onto my head, and I realized that this was not a very good method. So then I took a paintbrush with some gel and dipped it right into the glitter jar, which is really nice how they have it packaged. And I just spread that along my forehead. Yeah. 